how do you know if radio cap is working? Let's pressure test some caps and find out. We've got basically a snap-on pressure tester here. It's just a pump with a gauge on it that goes over to a fitting that will accommodate a radiator cap so you can seal it, pump it up, test it, and see what kind of pressure it holds. What are you looking for? Basically two things, very simply. First is that it holds pressure, and second, that it holds the pressure that it is advertised to hold. Now the, the couple examples I have here are caps that we've used on a race car that failed in two different ways. So this should hold about 22 pounds of pressure. And when we get up close to the limit, you can kind of hear it bleed off the pressure. The problem with this Cosworth cap is that it leaks. And we'll throw up a time lapse, but basically, you know, once this thing hits its kind of like target pressure, it, it just loses pressure continuously. Now, the second one here is this Mishimoto cap. And in the case of this one, you know, it's basically sitting at about 25 pounds of pressure, not the 30 that's advertised. This is over 10% lower pressure than what it's advertised to hold. So, you know, this is a good reason to test your caps. If you're having any kind of cooling issues, the very first thing you want to do, one, make sure your caps are in the right, right place, and then two, test the caps to make sure they're actually working properly, and then proceed with your diagnosis.